got that wall. She got that wall. Shall he get loose? Shall he get loose? She got the moves. She got the moves. Hey everyone, Arnaldo Wolfman here, showing you another exciting stand from Global Trust America and Duratrust. This is the Goliath Studio Pro 5000. Now at first glance, this looks exactly like the 5200. So what's the difference between this stand and the 5200? Well, this is a great step up to the 5200. This is awesome for the person who wants a stand with all the features and the power that 5200 has, but maybe has a little bit less of a budget. This stand is slightly more affordable and it holds a little bit less weight but it still holds an incredible amount and it's got all the great features. So let's take a look, let's set it up and let's see why this stand rocks for your event. The 5000 goes up to 16 plus feet, just like the 5200. But rather than holding 400 some odd pounds, this one holds right around 330. It's still a lot of weight, especially when you're gonna use at least two or more. This makes it the perfect choice for somebody that wants the power of the 5200, but may have a little bit less of a budget. Just like the 5200s, all we gotta do is slide these legs out and then slide them right in. Our riggers are very easy to slide in on this. The 5000 comes through the level that quickly tells you whether or not your 5000 is in balance. One of the advantages of having individually adjustable outriggers is that you're gonna quickly be able to adjust your stand, whether you are on a slope ground or an even surface, you can always make sure your stand is going to be 100% stable. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the handle, pop it in. Just like the other stands in the series, the 5000 has a removable pole that you can put different mounts on, such as a T adapter or a truss adapter so you can mount your truss on. This allows this stand to be used for a variety of purposes. Now before we use it, we're just gonna go ahead and unlock this part. It's gonna let the top elevator come out smoothly and not get stuck. So let's look at the first fail safe. As I crank up, you'll notice this moves up and down. When it's locked in all the way, as you can see there, it's right up against it. You cannot move it back. This means that if I try cranking it back, it's not gonna lock back. If somebody tries moving it back, it's not going to happen. If somebody tries pulling down on this, not going to happen. But let's say that it wasn't cranked all and locked in all the way and it skipped the tooth and the thing comes down. Well, this keeps moving back and forth. So as this comes down, if it did go down, it'll immediately catch on to the next tooth and prevent this from prevent it from happening. Honestly, I would show you that, but I can't get this thing to fail on me. Well, let's see if I, if I move it back here and I crank it back. Right there, it immediately stops. So again, I'm gonna crank forward to unlock it. And I'm just gonna hold it back. Let's pretend it did go down, bam, and it stops. And again, winch-free design means no cable to wear out on you. As you crank up, you're gonna notice that there's two individual numbers. One tells you how high the stand is, and the other one's gonna tell you how high the truss point, or the top of the truss is. This is super handy because you can use this with other stands in the series. I've paired these up with the 5200s or even the 4000s, and I know that no matter what happens, the truss is always at the right height thanks to these little numbers right here. Unlike other stands with winches, there are no pins to pull in or pull out. As you crank this up, it'll automatically start bringing the second elevator up on its own. No need to worry about load weights or anything like that as far as, well, how high do I do the first one? When do I stop the first one? When do I stop the second one? Because this automatically does that for you. Call it a foolproof design. Once you have it cranked up to the proper height, verify that you cannot pull this back to keep it safe. And just by pushing a button, the handle easily comes off. So now the best part is you have a stand that is 100% safe, locked, and without a handle, nobody can sit there and mess with the stand and bring your show crashing down. Once you're ready to crank down, just slide your handle back in. Then you're gonna crank up just a little bit to bring this back and you're gonna move it to your right hand side. And that's gonna keep it in an unlocked position. That's gonna allow you to crank it down. Now one of the great things is, it doesn't matter if you have 20 pounds or 300 pounds, this thing cranks like butter. It just moves in and out, no pressure from the winch pulling down on you. 
This direct drive design literally allows you to do this even single-handedly if you wanted to. Once you're done, just go ahead and lock it back up. So if you accidentally pull on this while traveling, it's not gonna lift out on its own. You'll notice that the bolts they used here are star screws. They're not Allen screws, they're not bolts, they're not screwdrivers, they're not thumb screws. And the reason they chose that is because they do not want you getting in on this. This needs to be completely sealed off. This is a self-lubricating system. If you keep it in good shape and you keep it out of any environments that it's not supposed to be in and make sure you read the instruction manual on that, this thing can last you forever. Now, of course, in the instruction manual, it does give you recommended inspection schedules. Make sure you talk to your global trust or a trust specialist about that, and they can give you more tips and information on making sure these stands last you a lifetime. Again, no winch, direct drive design means less parts to fail on you. If you mix and match stands, will it still keep them even? Well, yes, and the rig that you're seeing, you're gonna notice that I'm using two 5,000 and two 5,200s. By looking at the numbers, it's gonna tell you how high they are, as I showed you earlier, but the other big advantage of that is not just so you can use two different stands if you need to. And again, four 5,000s and 5,200s combined, you know, two and two of each, are giving me over 14, 13 to 1,400 pounds of accumulative weight that it can hold, which is quite a bit. And they both go up the same, you know, 16 plus feet. But the advantage is if you're using this maybe for at a country club or at a hotel with lower ceilings or different height ceilings, you can ask them, hey, how high are your ceilings? Great, you verify that. And as you're looking, you can see, okay, well, I can't go up too high because it'll hit the ceilings. But you have, you have, but you have to accommodate for the trussing. With these, it's also gonna tell you the height with the truss. So you don't have to worry about smashing into a chandelier or the ceiling or other expensive things the venue may hold. Are the outriggers sturdy enough? They most certainly are. This is just one of them. So when you have one of these, plus the stand, plus another one of these, this is quite a large foot span. So you're not gonna have to worry about the stand tipping over or anything like that. Now, if you're really worried, you can always use a sandbag. But I've used these quite a bit already, haven't had an issue. Will it scratch a delicate gym or hotel floor? Now, here's something really cool about the stand, no. Well, as long as you treat it properly, it's not gonna scratch the floor. And here's why. You have, of course, the wheels on it, little casters, allow you to move this around without scratching it. But when you look at the outriggers, instead of just traditional bolt right on the floor, a flat piece of metal, these feet are very strong plastic. Not cheap plastic, very strong plastic. The nut is a little bit under justify, which means that it's a little bit inside, so the plastic sticks out and it's not going to scratch the floor. So again, as long as you follow the instructions and treat it carefully, no, you're not gonna scratch the floor with it. Always inspect your feet, just like any part of anything that involves elevating heavy things over people's heads. But these are pretty sturdy and they do take a beating. These stands are gonna be the new standard in how we elevate trussing. They're strong, secure, lightweight, affordable. They have many different choices for different levels of production or budget. And the best part is no winch. A direct drive design means that this thing is going to last you for a very long time and they're gonna pay for themselves over and over and over again. So again, my name is Ronaldo Wafferman, showing you the latest and greatest from Global Trust America and Duratrust, and that's the Pro 5000. If you have any questions on this stand or any of the stands that you've seen, make sure you leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Ooh.